Some of you may remember a little red spike sticking off of totality during the 2024 total solar eclipse. That was actually a solar prominence, something normally only visible with specialized equipment, but in the moment something that was visible to our naked eyes. This big plasma structure arching through the sun's atmosphere. Given that we're getting close to solar maximum, I went out and bought one of the Hydrogen Alpha solar scopes, some of that specialized equipment, and I've been looking at the sun a lot, and there's just so much stuff going on in it. It's easily the most active thing in the solar system as far as like actual astronomy stuff goes. The whole thing is covered in this fiery, boiling texture, and these huge prominences, which again are way, way, way bigger than the Earth, are dancing and flowing in the sun's local magnetic fields. And there are even some special kinds of prominences too. One that I find particularly interesting being plasma rings. Plasma rings are basically a really structured form of the solar rain that I've talked about before. They're formed when plasma erupts from the surface, normally near a sunspot, but gets driven into these hoops and gradually expand until they collapse back down to the sun. What makes these especially cool is that this is actually one of the few naturally occurring ways to see magnetic field lines. Like, you can always create a purpose-built experiment to show, like, field lines using some magnets and iron filings and stuff, but you don't really get the same effect because these plasma rings actually flow sort of like a waterfall with the plasma going through these massive hoops. So ever since I got my solar scope, I've been eyeing opportunities to try and catch one of these. They tend to occur every month or so now that we're near solar maximum, but it kept on happening during night or when it was cloudy. Um, but as always in astronomy, patience is a virtue and it finally paid off. Look how big that is. It is freaking massive. Um, and it was partially cloudy during that day, but I was able to get a couple continuous segments. So we've got it animated too. And I love this. It's so good. And all of this was done with my little itty bitty scope, which I'm, I'm pretty proud of that little guy. He's doing good, he's doing a good job. But this was, I think one of the coolest things that we've captured, easily one of the coolest things that we've captured thus far. And I am super glad at how this turned out because the stacking on your overexposed images of the sun's limbs, um, that didn't, normally doesn't go that well. Uh, <laughs> But this turned out just super nice. The, the stacking algorithms and everything were able to identify the contrast since you had such a large structure protruding and everything just worked out really nicely. Super happy with that. If you guys want to start looking at trying to capture one of these things for yourself, the Gong Solar Observatory website has just some good, like pretty consistent live views of the sun in hydrogen alpha using probably what's somewhat similar of a scope to what I'm currently using. But if you look at that and you see something on there, you might be able to go out there and get some shots just like I was able to. So best of luck for you guys if you want to pursue that. But until next time, peace out.